Mr. Custer. You know so many people, don't you, dear? Mostly she. Do you have to look at her as though you'd like to have her for breakfast on toast? Is that the one? That's him. That's the couple I saw running from the car just before we, we found Mida. Well, 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 the boy detective. It's a small world, ain't it? Well, yes, and that's rather neatly put, too. My sweet, this aging gent is Inspector Gunther. He's a great guy when you take the trouble to know him. Don't take the trouble. Won't you folks come in and rest a spell? No, 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 thanks. We'll run along. Sit down! Now, look, are we under arrest? You said it. McAdams, run down and get me a bench warrant for this, this smart alley. On what charge? Can't a taxpayer take a stroll with his wife? For what? The book. What were you doing in that private car? And with Turk? And outside the theater last night? And at Mitre King's apartment? You park having your private dicks think you can get away with a uh, suspicion of murder? Yes, sir. Did the man say murder, Daddy? Mm-hmm. That's one of his favorite words. You want to talk now or later? Uh, later. Much later. But I'll be delighted to listen. Secrets. We was only talking about them. I'll have none of this finagling behind my back. Well, then why don't you examine them one at a time? What kind of a three-ring murder investigation is this, anyway? My kind, and you speak when you're spoken to. Well, Mr. Custer, ain't you gonna give a girl even a teeny-weeny tumble? Well, Miss Delroy, it's nice to see you. Uh, Miss Delroy, this is my wife. It's Miss Delroy. How do you do, Miss Delroy? That's a tumble. You uh, know this, Mr. Custer? Know him? <laughs> now, Mrs. Delroy, how would you like to let us all in on that secret? I'd like it fine. It ain't no secret. I guess I might as well begin with when I met mine. It was about seven, eight years ago. I was with a breakaway burlesque troupe over in Queens. Oh, 